All right, everyone, this is Crayos 1996 Television here, and it's now time for me to start my uh, nice number nine, number nine, number ninth game of Double Dare on the SN on the NES. So here we go. And I still have not been able to get to the get to, to the end of the obstacle course yet. Gorilla. Nope. Oh, we got it. A standard violin has how many strings? Four strings. This question is worth ten dollars. How many talking fish are in an aquarium or in Pee Wee's Playhouse? A2, B4, or C8? If you are a somnambulist, what would be your problem? I have no idea what that is. I'm just going to say walking in my sleep. Okay. Twenty dollars. In 1869, invention by the OA North changed the insides of closets. What was that invention? Mothballs, coat hangers, or clothes poles? I'm gonna have to say coat hangers. I'm not so sure. Okay, coat hangers. That's $30. This question is worth $10. On the old TV show, The Adams Family, what instrument did the lurch play? Okay. I'm taking a dare on this and s I'm not gonna go for it. They say, oh, they're going to double dare it. I don't know. So I might as well have no choice but to go for the physical challenge. And hopefully it's not the spaghetti. Anything but the spaghetti I'm fine with. What was the correct answer? The harpsichord. Okay. I'm sorry. I never knew it was the harpsichord. Kangaroo catch. Darn it. Darn it. Darn it. Can't be that hard to catch a train. That's one. That's two. That's three. Come on, catch the last one. No. Ah! Darn it! Seventy dollars. I'm gonna have to say X. Which of the letters was not found in the 50 st Why is it Q? Darn it. Just lead up their lead now. Which TV game show had Shadow Stevens as an announcer? Uh, 
I know it couldn't be Double Dare or the Newlywed Game. Which TV game show has Shadow Stevens as his announcer? I'm either going to say the Newlywed Game or Hollywood Squares. Hollywood Squares is my first guess. Okay. Fifty dollars. Ada and Carmen are both names of what? Perfumes, friends, wives, or operas? Ada and Carmen. I'm going to say... No, I'm going to dare them. I have no idea. They say perfumes. Nope, it's not perfumes. Operas, okay. So we now get $70. Half time already. This question is worth $10. According to the song, David Crockett. Oh, I think I've gotten this question before. I'm going to say Iowa. It was Missouri. Ah, keep forgetting that answer. Tennessee. In which sport are some movies called our tips, rolls, and outriggers, and royals? Oh, jeez. Just gonna increase their lead more. I'm just gonna say skiing. I don't know. Okay. $90. That's the end of the round one. Half time. Let's play. That's one. That's two. Got him. $100 and control the questions. No, I'm sorry. 110 Which character in Alice in Wonderland was very late for an important date? The Mad Hatter, the White Rabbit, or the Queen of Hearts? The White Rabbit, of course. $103. The Alamo is located in which Texas city? Okay. I'm just going to take a guess and say Fort Lauderdale. Not Lardo. It was San Antonio. I know it wasn't Fourth Worth, so it had to be that out of those two. Robert Record once said, There are no two things more than equal in parallel lines. What did Robert Record have meant? The parallelogram? It was the, I guess it was the 45 RPM record. No, it was the equal signs. Okay. Now our team gets the money, though, because nobody dared. The cell album is by which organ? I'm going to have to say the brain. Either the brain or the stomach, I don't know. I'm saying the brain first. Okay, $150. This question is worth $20. The largest French-speaking city in the world is Paris, France. Which city is the second? Nice France, Montreal, Canada, or Port-au-Prince? 
I'm going to say Portal. Either A or C. I'm going to say A first, if not C. Yep, I know it. It was C. What? It was Montreal, Canada. How is Montreal the second largest city for speaking French? I had no idea. Which chipmunk uh, played the uh, harmonica and Sarah in the group? I know it is. And you're going to dare us anyway. Simon, Theodore, and Alvin. I'm going to say C. $190. This question is worth $20. The term for one character in a computer sounds something like what do you do with your teeth? A chew, B gnaw, or C bite. I'm gonna say C. Alright, $110. 210. I'm sorry. Jeez, I can't talk today. I haven't. Which monument has climbed as the most steps to climb to reach the top? I I don't know. I have to say the leaning tower it could be all of them. Either the Eiffel Tower or the Leaning Tower of Pasea. I'm going to say the Eiffel Tower first. If not B. Oh it's this oh it's he is the Eiffel Tower. Okay. This question is worth twenty dollars. Which fictional Creature doesn't cast a shadow, hates garlic, and loves the taste of blood. Either B or C. I'm going to say B first. Nope. It was Dracula. I'm not too good at these answers there, folks, so... That's why I'm sticking on to the easy levels. How many cells does a Parechium have? A1 or B100? Infinite number. I think I got this question before and it said 100. I don't know. I'm going to have to say 100. No. It was 1. So they get a hundred and thirty dollars. That's the end of the game, and we won the game. All right, on to the obstacle course. Let's go. Both hands for this one. Oh boy. On to number six already. Ten seconds left. Can I make it? Oh, looks like I. Well, it doesn't look like I'm gonna. Doesn't look like I'm gonna. No, time's up. Won these three prizes. The watch, the stereo, the pool table, the BMX bike, 
the camping gear, the NES console, and a television set. Not bad. Not bad at all. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my number 9 game of Double Dare on the NES. And I'll see you guys for the next video to come soon. But for now, I'm just going to sign off here. And let the music play out.